Well, hello everyone. Hey, welcome. It is finally Friday. I finished a bit earlier today, so I was on this video and this photo was sent in. Uh, thanks, Darlene, from the community. And um, listen, I'm going to talk about a heck of a lot of things in this photo. This is an object floating, objects floating in the sky, clearly in the photo, in one of the 11 photos she sent me. Thanks, Darlene. I appreciate it. And Darlene had noticed just an odd light at the bottom of the photo. And of course, I'm going to point like the 20 things in the photo because I'm, I don't know. I'm not used to looking at other people's photos. I honestly never have, ever. And um, these are the objects that are floating up in the sky and they're white. And what I want to explain to people, these are seen through different filterings. Why? Because we can see the insides of them, if there are more objects around them, etc. Filtering is the most amazing thing to be able to detect color, surface color. You could probably even distinguish a proper um, uh, routine or system with your own editing and uh, make your own science. Listen, this is, uh, this is the future, okay? Um, there are many ways to edit photos to be able to see the surface. And by the way, if you see any lines in this uh, video, they're, they're not supposed to be any, but YouTube, I'm noticing now, are posting lines. What do we see? This is great, and I couldn't wait to show you all this. And Darlene, too, at the top of the photo, you must have noticed it. It's very bright in the photo. Here's your other photo, Darlene that you can see the objects are actually separating. This is pretty incredible. And when you see all the different photos that you sent me, there's always this uh, group of objects on the top. And I'll go to what uh, you mentioned also, Darlene, in the uh, photo uh, at the bottom, which I did filter also that. Astonishing line that came into the lower atmosphere. It's lower than a plane, guys. You'll see it in the bottom. But there are many points in this photo. So, yes, this is the top, top part of the photo. And I think it's exquisite. So here's at the bottom of the photo, but uh, still in the sky, uh, lying away, high, not very high up over the horizon. But, of course, this bright, bright light and stream that is not straight, so ever thick, with sort of a, lump, a clump at the end. And it's very bright. And it's actually brighter than the sun itself and a white light, not yellow at all. Here's a filter to see about and around what is going on, but it's just coming basically out of the sky. And listen, guys, there it is there, okay, while I'm talking. Some of these uh, objects, whether asteroids or little slivers or maybe balls of ice, guys, that are in the lower atmosphere, they are um, crossing paths with the the oxygen. You must understand that, that if they get too close to the lower atmosphere, they would probably start, start dropping, right? And maybe these objects, uh, my speculation, but hey, I'm speculating through facts, so it's not really speculation. Um, an asteroid in the lower atmosphere would, what, get heavy, um, then what, create uh, drag, right? That's be, um, from uh, plowing into the atmosphere at a faster and faster excessive speed, then um, would it not enter the atmosphere and just puff out in, in puffs of uh, smoke and uh, obliterate the minute it burns up in the oxygen? Now, whether these objects are ice objects or not, they are objects. And it's not hard. When I filter uh, like a flare, I love this filtering technique, guys, because flares don't show up. They never do. And that's a great video for one of the next videos I think I'll show how to eliminate flares and how to detect flares or not, because that's a really um, controversial thing, I think, online, is it not? We don't know if it's flares or if it's planets that we're seeing beside the sun. I've, I'm hearing some even very, I'm not going to mention them because I still respect them, very good um, uh, channels on YouTube um, that talk about UFOs uh, that are very well placed in uh, on YouTube that I heard in the past month, descending people saying that there were planets beside the sun. I think that's pretty, pretty uh, cr uh, crude. I think that's really, um, I don't know. It's not thinking out of the box. Anyways, I'll tell you that. You can see it up there, the light at the bottom there. And they come in so low. Like, this is very low. And you can clearly see something at the end and through the filtering, uh, an object like uh, at the end. But <laughs> we're going to get to, I mean, this is one photo. 
uh, I mean several photos, but one uh, group of objects that are sort of um, floating around up there in the high, I was high enough in the sky, yes. And it, you know, but was it that the lower atmosphere? At what level is the lower atmosphere? We're gonna go back to see the spaceship. I mean, oh my gosh, I can't even believe I just said that. I'm not gonna say spaceship, but um, it's not, it's, it's an object, guys, okay? We're gonna see that right now after um, this last, look at that, guys, floating around the sky, okay? And these, I've noticed they're gonna appear. Oh my goodness, I actually forgot. There was another one. On the bottom right, Darlene, in your photo, this was to the right of that line of light, that interesting line you said. There's this object, and I'm, I'm looking at it, and yes, it's clearly um, an object with some kind of a dust around it at the bottom of it, or trail, uh, that is, my goodness, this was so low, um, it was basically, leveled between the houses and yeah through the filtering it's not a flare and it does show up and it's not an object that was on the surface and I, and I wasn't sure at one point because it was ever so low there's that line that came in again and at the top of it just uh i don't know you know the top is blue are the clouds that's filtering it should be blue this one here i'm going to filter it take a look at that this was amazing. This was sent in anonymously by someone in the community, though. Thanks so much. I really appreciate the contributions like this, guys. And um, it was caught, guys, right here in my own province, about half an hour um, to maybe an hour away from where I live. So I thought that was pretty cool having it sent in. And it's just an object that, oops, what happened? Shouldn't this be the same color as the clouds? Because you've seen the clouds were filtered are now very blue um, at the top there. And the green is the bottom. Just the, the this is actually, sorry, blah, 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 I'm, I'm stuttering. Um, it's the sky further with a lighter blue. So it's just getting back a blue and a green. But this object is a particular color. I'd say actually a, a three or four particular colors, and we'll see that. But you see the orange glow in a sphere-like object right there at the V-shape. It's in there. There's something inside of that light. Our eyes see white things. Like in Darlene's photo at the beginning, it's also white. Those dots, those amazing, uh, gigantic um, objects that are in the sky are white because we see through the white spectrum of light. We will always see things white. A big blast or an explosion that is a red dust, etc. If it explodes in front of us and is very bright, we are all going to see a white or yellow flash. We're not going to see any red whatsoever until our eyes come back and focus, and then it will distinguish that there is red there, but not through a flash and not through different temperatures. There's clearly something that has a flat head here. You can see it no matter what it is. You know, people are saying, oh, you're saying it's a space wrap. No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a space wrap, but I'm not saying it's not because I'm totally always thinking out of the box. And do you notice the black line in the center is actually a symmetrical structuring? I mean, you got to look close at these objects, okay? And when you do look close at these objects, you find a lot, but you have to zoom in a lot to see and analyze them. And there's that at the head there, you see at the top of this, very odd black symmetrical line that goes all the way to the bottom. That th no matter uh, through what fil any filtering, it always appears. You know, uh, this was a very clear shot, by the way. There's no pixelation. We're just close, of course, like a planet, right? Uh, a planet looks round, right? And when you get really close to the object, you you you're like, whoa! It's not even round. Our eyes see everything very round-ish and spherical. Uh, the further they are. So all these stars that we're seeing out uh, in the Milky Way, guys, and all these planets that we see in the constellations, who says they are spherical, you know? And I'm learning a lot about stars now. Stars are actually systems inside of systems filled with black holes and mysteries and anomalies and colors that even scientists do not know what they are. As always, and as promised, and with the greatest pleasure, I will always have the website contributors 
um, chat or now, of course, channel contributors, because I do have a website too. Here's uh, the most recent Dennis Delano or Denis Delano. Bro, thanks a lot, man. Um, you've always been a part of this community. I love you for it. We interact, man. We comment and stuff. That's awesome. And now you you uh, contributed, bro, uh, in ways that these are these are giant donations, giant amounts. Twenty dollars is a lot of money. WSO YouTube channel, Steve Olson. We interact on Tuesday nights, guys. And check out to see what he's finding out with other channels.